Okay, so let's just go ahead and continue from where we left off. We started uh, typing in the TCP dump command from... Now, this TCP dump command is explained rather well in, some, in previous chapters of this course, but I'm just going to go ahead and skim it here. This is a one-liner that's going to help you out a great deal. So let's just go ahead and expand this up and... Uh, okay, this is a bit annoying. I'll just go ahead and extend it like this because I want you to see the entire command in one line, if possible at all, if not, oh well. So, uh, tcp dump, now we're gonna use the dash i command to specify the interface. This is gonna stream our network information. If you just go ahead and type in man tcp dump, I have explained in the previous chapters what TCP dump is, but you can basically take a look at the man pages and you can see that TCP dump represents the dump traffic on a network. So we're basically dumping the network traffic and we're dumping it to SSH and then we are going to go ahead and put it, we're going to put it up in our file that we have captured, that we have created the pipe. Because remember, we are not on our own machine in this terminal. On this machine, we are on this in this terminal. We are on the. We're basically controlling this server in the background, which is now black. But I can just go ahead and do this. You can see it is still very much up and running live. Oh, let's go ahead and expand this back up again, and type in TCP dump. Is it dump? Yes, it is uh, dash. I to specify the interface. Now how do we know which interface are we going to use here? Well, I don't ac I don't actually. I'm going to go ahead and type in IPADDR. So this interface is emp0s3 because uh, our network traffic will go over that particular interface. If it's some other interface then we'll of course use some other interface. So go ahead and clear and type in TCP dump space dash i let's go ahead and specify that interface uh, the next thing we're going to do is write this is from the output of the screen this dash pipe it and now we're going to pipe this over to ssh we're going to type in ssh space what is the username on our admin machine well guess what it's admin so admin at and now we need to type in the IP address. The IP address we can find here. Oh, it's 192.168.192.168.1.3 and as we have specified the IP address we're going to type here space dash C and these are some encryption and compression methods for SSH, which I have, which I have explained previously. Arc four, arc four. Yep, that's about it. Uh, comma blow fish dash cbc space dash capital C dash p. So this is for port. The port is obviously twenty two. And now we're going to type in space. We need the quotation marks. It's going to pass into the next line no matter what I do because this command is way too long. This is a one-liner that's going to help you solve a lot of your issues. And we're going to type in cat space dash again space and then we're going to redirect the output to tmp slash packet cap capture. So I hope I hope that you will remember the name of the named pipe that we have created. And now since we are connecting from our server back to our admin machine, we will of course need to configure SSH on our admin machine as well. So let's go ahead and do that as well. We have this terminal to control our local machine. Uh, let's go ahead and clear the screen. And now we're gonna go ahead and become root. Test. Not sure if I have configured SSH here or not because there is some time difference between these tutorials, but no big deal. Uh, yum install open SSH. Should pick up the Arch for 64 bit system by default. Uh, server clients updating dependencies. Yes, okay, thank you. 
very much. I would like you to install OpenSSH. Yep, there we go. The arch has been picked up. The default, I didn't need to specify that. Completed. Now we're going to type in systemd. Oh, sorry, not systemd. System CTL space. And here we need to type in start sshd. Excellent. So it is up and running, hopefully. We can go ahead and check its status as before. Status. Oh, yes, it is very much running active and alive. And if we go ahead and press enter here, unknown cipher type, uh, is it reporting that it cannot do this? Received by the filter, zero packets dropped by the kernel. Okay, so let's first of all examine what the problem is. I'm guessing that the problem is that we cannot log in as root or we need to at least log in once in order to confirm uh, that all is well. So SSH, actually I'm just going to go ahead and copy this because this is the very first time we're logging in from the server into our into our admin machine. Yep, there we go, I've been asked and then I need to type in my stupid password and there you go I have managed to log back into my machine so I'm making loops here I'm connecting to the server from one from my admin machine and then I'm connecting back from the server back to the admin machine which is going to create a lot of a lot of unnecessary traffic okay let's go ahead and exit close connection and let's see if this is uh, gonna work like this so I am dumping this it says here ARC4 comma blow fish dash cbc dash c hmm okay uh, it says unknown cipher arc4 blowfish but I'm just gonna go ahead and live with that and see am I actually getting any traffic let's go ahead and do this is probably not gonna work, but I just want to see if there is actually in this uh, file. Uh, it's attempting to cut it out, but not working to the best of ability. Okay, no problems. Let's start up Wire Shark. Wire Shark is started, up and running. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to minimize this machine. And I'm gonna go ahead and have to capture this. I'm gonna say ping ping 192.168.1 and I want to see what is the IP address of this machine because I want to generate some traffic from my proxy server. This is me testing out the proxies here. IP ADDR. Uh, what is the this is the loopback ETH. Uh, okay, so it's 1.5 1.5 the pings are going they're being generated so I can just redo that if I want now I don't really have uh, the interface that I want here it is a named pipe and let's go ahead and choose the named pipe and connect and try to sniff traffic from it Okay, uh, so I just paused the tutorial a little bit because I didn't really want to go through this before I figured out what was wrong with this because it said unknown cipher. And I just can't leave these things to rest. Basically, I am very, I'm a very stupid person. You see here I wrote CBP and it's supposed to be CBC. <laughs> let's see, let's see now. It should work. CB, CBC. Uh, I messed up the password, I can just see it happening. Or maybe it's working out, but yep, it was working out. So let's just go ahead and type it in. Leave it at that. Go into Wireshark and go into Capture. Then go into Interfaces. And I'm gonna go. We don't we don't see the pipe here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go into options, as before. No big deal. Go into managed interfaces. It says pipes. Just gonna go ahead and click on new. 
going to browse. Now it should be in the TMP where I have placed it. TMP, hmm, where is it? Ah, there we go. So packet capture. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Have you saved it? Uh, yeah, I guess you did. Just go ahead and close that down at the bottom. Yep, there we go. So it's right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and select the pipe file. And I'm going to go ahead and say start. Go ahead and start listening. Frame 162 long. A lot of bytes. So I'm having some problems with SSH, but no big deal. Let's just go ahead and grab this. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But you can see the traffic here. We'll fix these problems in the background. I wouldn't say that they are trivial, but they definitely are problems. Uh, but you can you can go ahead and take a look that we indeed have captured a lot of traffic. There is definitely traffic here. Uh, SSH traffic is being captured. It says encrypted uh, ping request echo. I have a lot, of, well, I wouldn't say a lot of traffic, this is not too big of a file, it's just packets, it's just 159 packets, which is, it might seem like a lot, but you know, files, they can contain a lot. I mean, they can contain to the point where you cannot open uh, Wireshark in the proper fashion. It, it will take you a lot of time to actually load it. So now that we know that this actually uh, does work, but do we? Let's go ahead and verify, just to be certain. Uh, it says here, source IP address and destination IP address. So what we are looking for is the named pipe, and we are looking for the IP address of our server. So let's go ahead and take a look, IP ADDR. It's 192.168.1.4, and indeed, we do have traffic from 192.168.1.4 towards 192.168.1.3. That's right there. I'm just going to go ahead and say that we would like to start a new live capture, uh, continue without any saving, and capturing from the file. I'm going to go ahead and start filling it up now. And there you go. So you see immediately upon connection, you can see what is going on from the other side that this file is being filled with a lot of information. You can see that the amount of packets is growing beyond the rate which we can actually successfully monitor this. So this is way, 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 way too many packets, more than we can actually... Uh, Mm, there we go. So now it's loading it itself up. And you can see how it is all flowing, how it is all going, how some of them are failing. Those are red ones, but no big deal. Some some packets will fail. Okay, so I just want to demonstrate this. Uh, okay, granted, it does have errors. It does have problems, but nothing too significant. You can see that it is working out. Some packets are breaking, but for the most part, this is working. There is uh, no problem here, except our file size is growing exponentially. It's we're basically at 175,000 packets, which is uh, which is a significant amount. This is a lot. So we will continue onwards in the follow-up tutorial, where I shall explain more things. For the time being, I just want to show you how you can perform these captures in this manner.